The coronavirus outbreak rocking Wall Street this week. Stocks plummeting in their worst week since the 2008 financial crisis. But our next guest says this week's sell-off may be exaggerated, arguing the U.S. economy remains strong. Joining us now is University of Maryland business professor emeritus and former chief economist for the international, U.S. International Trade Commission, Peter Morisi. Peter, thank you so much for being here this morning. Yeah, make sense of this for us. I mean, the, the, it seems the fundamentals of the economy are very strong, but when you look at a stock market week like this one, uh, it makes you scratch your head. What you had fear this week. Folks can't really estimate the extent that the virus will spread and how long it will take to knock it off. But it will be knocked off. Unfortunately, we had two really grave errors or three really grave errors this week. The CDC came out and made that announcement when this, it's the state and municipal officials that are really on the front lines and they're getting prepared. There was no need for uh, a, a shocking or, or announcement that would, that would basically panic people. The second thing is that it seems to take Jerome Powell about two weeks to wake up in the morning to decide it's Tuesday and that he should say something positive about the U.S. economy. And then you had the folks on the Hill basically trying to t take this and turn it into a political issue, which you got to remember, a lot of the traders on Wall Street are Democrats. So if Nancy's upset, they sell. I mean, the president really made a point. There was a lot of effort this week, some of it unintended and some very intended, to disrupt the markets. Peter, take a listen to what Trump said about the Fed getting involved, and then we want to get your reaction. Well, I hope the Fed gets involved. Uh, you know, I'm not a big fan of the Fed, you know that. I think they make a lot of mistakes. They've made a lot of mistakes. But I hope the Fed gets involved, and I hope they get involved soon. So he hopes the Fed gets involved. Do you agree? Well, yeah, I mean, it's like Rip Van Winkle over there. He's been asleep all week. He decides to get up on Friday when it's too late and say something. If this was Alan Greenspan, he'd have been pushing money into the system, you know, on Tuesday, two days into this, into this drop. My feeling is the Fed should be out there with some form of quantitative easing, not cutting interest rates, basically buying bonds and, 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 and assuaging investors, you know, giving them confidence there's going to be liquidity in the system and, and telling them the economy's fine. Uh, if he does that, then I think we'll be okay, because the, econ the stock market in the end should follow the economy, and the economy is strong. Now, can a panic pull down the economy? Yes, but this panic is based on, on, on fear that, that, that really is unfounded. Remember, the influenza kills many more people each year than the coronavirus is going to kill in the United States. So, Professor, you're not worried about the economy. This is, this is a fear-based week that we had, ultimately, it's still it's still very sound in your in your sense either the cdc was irresponsible or it was cynical in the way it made its announcement the way to deal with this was to reach out to the state health agencies who are already on the ball read about it in the papers uh the second thing is that uh we had all the ruminations on the hill where's mm -hmm. the czar you don't need a czar you know the trouble with liberals is they see every crisis as a chance to expand the government that is create true. another czar That's create another plan. bureaucracy and th then they're with us forever <laughs> That's, <true. laughs> That's the face we should make with that idea. You're exactly right. Professor, thank you so much. Thank Always you. enjoy Take having care. you. Thanks so much. We're going to turn to some headlines for you now. A woman facing.